A key moment in the life for DocuSign, unveiling a host of new products at a closely uh, watched day for them. Let's bring in DocuSign uh, CEO Alan Tigerson. Alan, good to see you in person. Pretty big week for your company. Very big week. So what exactly did you launch? I, I know there's been a lot of focus on uh, some of the new technology. Walk us through it a little bit. Yes, so what we launched is what we call an intelligent agreement management platform. And what that means is basically helping companies with every step of the agreement process. So just as an example, you would have a lot of salespeople maybe that, that they've reached agreement, but now it takes several months more to actually get to the finished signed agreement. You could have that in purchasing where you've signed an agreement with a vendor, but you don't know if they're filling up, they're living up to their uh, commitments. Or in recruiting, you're, you're seeing delays in getting the right candidates signed. All of that are symptoms of mismanaged agreements. And we've launched a platform to help companies address that holistically. What, what's the agreement trap? So the agreement trap is in essence the value loss that companies are experiencing from all this inefficiency and waste related to agreements. So we work with Deloitte to size this. And this, it may surprise you, they size the total economic loss from mismanaged agreements, systems and processes at two trillion it's a dollars. It's a huge number. Oh, What's so, going wrong here? That people are just not reading the contracts, right? You know, I, I, I think it's a combination of enormous waste in the processing of agreements and then, very importantly, as you point out, once the agreements are signed today, they go to a deep, dark place. Yeah. Nobody, yeah, looks nobody, wants look nobody, looks, nobody looks at them again <laughs> until, until it's time to renew. Yeah. But the point is you spent all this time negotiating and what you cared about and what the other party cared about is right there in the agreement. We will help you extract that out and compare to what actually happens as well as other similar agreements. And there's a tremendous value in that. How much AI is used in, in this software? Yeah, it's a great question. So, look, we've had a long, uh, long time leadership position in AI. We use AI in, your, in our signature product. The way all those fields are recognized, that's AI. When we do identity verification, that's AI. But there's obviously been a discontinuity and, and a new level of capability. And so the most important thing that we're adding that's AI enabled here is, in essence, this what I just referred to of, of the immediate reading of the agreement and extracting the most essential terms out of the agreement. Let's say I want to know all of my agreements that are up for renewal in the next 60 or 90 days. I can answer that question immediately. That's simply not possible today. And you can imagine every, every kind of search there, that's all AI driven and uh, it wouldn't have been possible several years ago. Will this new product help me negotiate a contract? Are we there yet? I, I don't think we're quite there as in you're just going to have the machine negotiate I mean, with can, machine. You, well, can you get this to market already? <laughs> but, oh, come on, but, but, I, but I think what we will have is, yeah. is the, the um, AI will help you read agreements maybe you receive from other parties, point out to you where it differs from what you might normally agree to, and highlight proposed language. And of course, we could do that for the other side. And then, as you technically, you could imagine a day where, where the, the parties agree that essentially there's a a machine-to-machine a -machine settlement. What other use cases do you see for AI on, on a platform like DocuSign? Because I think a lot of investors just know you as I can sign an agreement digitally. In my case, I mentioned to you off camera, yeah. I bought a car during the pandemic, I signed and I got it done. But clearly there sounds like a pivot happening there. Well, I think it's really an expansion. So we, we did a nice job, I think, with the most important moment in the agreement journey, which is when the parties actually want to sign. Yeah. Um, but there's so much more to agreements. Everything prior to that, improving those processes, making it more seamless for business and consumers, and then after the agreement is signed, getting them out of that deep, dark place and extracting the value out of those agreements. And we can use AI to improve both the front end and the back end, and that's what we're launching. Do you hate when folks ask you, are we ever getting rid of paper? Do you get that question? I do get that question. Uh, we've gotten rid of a lot of paper, but look, there's, there's a lot more to go. So I think we, we have a, we have a very sizable market opportunity. You just passed what, your year mark as CEO? Uh, I'm just 18 months in. What, you know, where are you at in the turnaround? You know, I think we have made a lot of progress. Uh, I, I'm particularly proud of the rejuvenation of the innovation culture and the product release, just the velocity here, and then as, as illustrated by what we're doing uh, this week. And then I think we're a little earlier in the journey of expanding our go to market to take full advantage of all these things that we've been building for the last 18 months. But if, if the energy from this week is anything to go by, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident we're on the right path. What's your sense of the, the outlook for billings? Well, you know, we, we're, we, ha we have provided guidance. We're not changing that guidance right now. I think we have a, a very solid outlook. We've really stabilized our core business, our signature business, and we now have this opportunity. It's going to roll out over time, both across segments and across geographies, but I think the long-term trajectory is 
very positive. What are your, what's your uh, interpretation of, of competitors in this space? Microsoft has made some ways with some products, but how do you view them? You know, Microsoft has been a, an absolutely fantastic partner for us. Look, we've long been integrated with Microsoft products, Word and Teams and so on. Uh, we're a big partner with them on Azure. More recently, of course, with GPT, some of our AI work is, is based on Microsoft's platforms. Um, and they are incredibly engaged with us. They're not interested in being a purveyor of, of agreement management products. They want others to build that for them and on top of their platforms, and so that's what we're doing. They're, recently, our go-to-market partnership has really expanded, so we're now available globally on the Azure marketplace, which is a fantastic channel. Every large Microsoft customer is a big Azure, has a big Azure commitment, and so we've already seen some very nice deals come through it, that way. Is there ways to further, I guess, intertwine yourself with that Microsoft e ecosystem? We, we are. Well, I look we at Copilot. I mean, Copilot. Oh, Everybody so, so we Copilot. are actually um, we will be um, we will be previewing some Copilot stuff with Microsoft wow. next month. So uh, good guess. Um, and, and, and not just Microsoft. We've had a very long-standing relationship with Salesforce. That's been a key to go. We have tens of thousands of customers with joint Salesforce and DocuSign deployments. SAP is another big partner. So really, any large enterprise software company that has horizontal capability agreements play into that, and we're a logical partner. So that co-pilot, whatever that is, will it help me negotiate contracts? <laughs> it will help you negotiate <laughs> contracts. It will not fully automate the negotiation okay. of contracts. Fair enough. Lastly, you've been in tech for some time. What, uh -huh. You were at Google before? Yeah, long time, 12 years. What does this AI moment feel like to you? Oh, I think it is, um, it's as big as, uh, as when the internet rolled out or when mobile rolled out. It, it is, uh, you know, at least once in a decade, if, if not even less frequent uh, technology shift in what's possible. And it's going to disrupt uh, a lot of industries. All right, well, uh, leave it there. DocuSign CEO Alan Tigerson, good to see you. It's been a real joy following the turnaround of your company and then really just following DocuSign over many, many years. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much.